Asgod Slaughter Disease. Asgod Slaughter Disease is attraction apophysitis of the tibial tubercle resulting from repetitive microtrauma. So it is an overuse syndrome that results in inflammation of the insertion of the patellar tendon on the tibial tubercle. An apophysis is found where major tendons and ligaments attach to bone, as you can see here. The tibial tubercle is an apophysis and is the insertion for the patellar tendon. The tibial tubercle apophysis is a secondary ossification center. It is not part of the knee joint and it is subjected to traction stress by the patellar tendon. I want to talk a little bit about the tibial tubercle ossification. Below 11 years of age, the tibial tubercle is cartilaginous, cartilage. Between 11 and 14 years of age, the apophysis is formed. Between 14 to 18 years of age, the apophysis fuses with the tibial epiphysis. More than 18 years of age, the apophysis and the epiphysis fuses with the rest of the tibia. Asgard Schlatter disease is more common in boys between the age of 12 to 15 years. The condition is less common in girls and it occurs between the ages of 8 to 12 years in girls. It is bilateral in about 20 to 30 percent of patients. What are the risk factors? Sports aggravate the condition like in jumpers, soccer, and the sprinters. Presentation. Pain, swelling, and tenderness localized over the tibial tubercle on the anterior aspect of the knee. The tibial tubercle may appear enlarged, and the pain is increased with physical activity and the sports. If it is unilateral, rule out infection. Always rule out trauma and tumor. The condition may become chronic and causes residual pain. Then you get x-rays. You will find fragmentation and irregularity of the tibial tubercle. Prognosis. Osgott Schlatter disease is a self-limited disease. It occurs with increased demand on the immature skeleton. It resolved when the patient stops growing. Treatment. Reduction of activity until the condition heals. Short period of limited activity may be sufficient. The condition responds well to non-operative treatment. Rest, anti-inflammatory, and quadriceps exercises and the strengthening. Do not inject or use steroids in the area. It may cause fatty necrosis, disfigurement of the skin, and injury to the tendon. In general, the main aspect of the treatment is activity modification and knowing that the condition affects growing children who are involved with jumping activities and the condition will resolve when the child stops growing. When the condition is resistant to treatment, which can occur in about 10% of the patients, surgery is considered. Be aware that surgery is indicated in severe cases that have severe continuation of symptoms despite adequate period of conservative treatment. And you do the surgery when the patient is skeletally mature and when the x-rays show an ossicle that is painful. And the surgery is usually tubercle ossicle resection. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.